So case, what was your experience like coming off of the medication then? It was really, it was challenging. It took me about, I would say like six to seven months to kind of really wow. get wow. back to just like who I was. I started doing art again, which I did in high school, uh, which I hadn't done for a while and kind of just tapping back into who I identified with pre-Adderall. Um, so yeah, I would say it was definitely a struggle, but I had a very supportive family and friends that was like made it a lot easier. I think what's really also what Christina has said and I, I hope that the film ignites is it's really easy to get on all these stimulants. It's yes. really easy to get a prescription and get instant results and it's really hard to get off. In my opinion, mm -hmm. Adderall is probably the single most overprescribed drug in America. Mm -hmm. ADHD is probably the single most overdiagnosed and misdiagnosed we have in psychiatry. Right. Because literally second graders will come in with a note from the principal saying they can't come back to school unless you put them on a medication. So the uh, early reinforcement, right? The reinforcement wow. starts Look very that. early. That, yeah. Look at that. That, that is, is a real. major problem. That's right. a major problem. And, and psychiatrists are part of the problem too. They're part of, yeah, they're part of the problem. Teachers, and because teachers. Just even hearing that, in, when you're in elementary school and you feel like you have a problem and teachers right. recognizing it as something that's a problem, you feel, you already from that young age, you take that with you throughout the rest of your life thinking like I have an issue, there's something wrong with me. And to kind of just like get rid of that in and of itself is difficult. You buy into it. Yeah. You feel like I need this in order to show so up my 100% Was stuff. this prescribed for you when you were younger? Is that yeah. how you... And I think what's really interesting now is we're learning so much about how the education system can change, other alternatives that parents may have, meditation in schools, yes. moving your kid perhaps to a school that is more visual, that is more creative. So I think really our hope is that this film will ignite a conversation in homes, in education places with doctors, that what we're doing, the way we're working, the way we're educating, the way we're living, Maybe we should be questioning it. Maybe we should push back against that principle well, that says I, we definitely your should be questioning it. And as you said, it's all about education, and it, it sounds like this documentary is going to take us in a right. Because direction. she she wanted to make this documentary because there was no information out there, and there's no information when you're a parent and you have a young kid. You don't have any am, ammunition to push back, and right. now with this film, you do. Yeah, yeah. you do. And, the, and and to your point, in 2012, 16 million prescriptions for Adderall were written, which is a three-fold increase since 2008. So over just that span of a few years, like you said, there's this drug is known as a smart drug. As you already pointed out, it increases focus, it makes you sleep less, it suppresses your appetite. So people are really snorting it, crushing it up, I mean, using yeah. it for all the wrong reasons. And then the problem is they take that, as Christina points out, then they have to take something to go to sleep, then they have right. to take 100%. something else to get yeah. back up. Got to and it. all these kids think they're gonna stop when they get out of school, and then it just it's yeah. even worse. There's a huge increase, particularly amongst young women and women in general who are trying to work, trying to raise kids, trying to take for care of elderly parents, trying to stay thin, trying to pretend that they get it all without any effort. And as a I lot. always, it's a lot. a lot. And of course, as I try to say to my kids all the time, that's not true. Yeah. Uh, whatever you're seeing on social media, you're seeing that girl who's like perfect, there's not zero body fat, she's got yeah. four perfect kids, everything is just great. It's been great. Photoshopped. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Face to the Photoshop, yes. Yeah. yes. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much, Christina Maria. Always yeah, we're really hoping this is so great that you're having this conversation. I'm so happy that the response of the audience and parents push back educators, let's talk about it. Doctors, yeah. don't prescribe it so easily. Good oh. points. All right, you can check out their documentary, Take Your Pills, on Netflix.